Ferrari hates you. And Ferrari hates me, don't worry. They kind of hate everybody. Do you know who they don't hate? Themselves, because they're so up their own f Yeah, good job! Uh, yeah, we got a sense of that. That's within the first, first 30 seconds. Because the thing I don't hate is being monetized. But you know what? Ferrari basically just hates anybody that has ever loved their company or their cars so much that they've ever tried to do anything that even gets ever so slightly close to them. Maybe they just think that they're that good. So what has happened today is, I mean, a lot of it is fair. A lot of people just ripped models from other games and that's where a lot of DMCA should really come from. I tried to use a model once that somebody else I thought had made, but that also wasn't actually the case. So, I mean, I'm a little bit guilty of it, but they went through without discussion and just removed everything Ferrari from Bremen G's repository and from their forums, which, without discussion, dick move. Trying to really tone down the language, and that's as low as we're getting. First came to my attention where Benny Lip Mods also had made a Ferrari Ferrari 458 mod, which I'm assuming they ripped the model from somewhere else, which okay, sure. Using the name, that was poor choice. But no discussion. No, like, hey. You can't use this, like, it's not even really their model. Like, somebody else made the model. It's not Ferrari. So Ferrari's only going after them, really, for using their likeness and name. Which, that's an old car. Actually, let me check that out. Yeah, like, the last time that, like, it was made 15 years ago and was last used nine years ago. So, um, maybe it's not that old. But I saw that and I was like, oh, that's unfortunate. And I thought, you know what, my automation cars would be free of it because automation cars are not really like anything else. And also the fact that my model that I had made, I spent many hours. I did so much work on this and it's not actually really a 312T because it is missing so much. It is, I mean, very much inspired by, but that's about it. And also like the mesh on this thing is absolutely terrible. But no, minutes later, I got this notification. Your resource Ferrari 312T was deleted. This thing is from the seventies. They don't even use it anymore. It's not a particularly well-known Ferrari. It was a little bit in the Ferrari movie with James Hunt where he beat them, but that's it. You can't really claim that the vehicle itself is like an IP protected thing, kind of like what Disney's shitheads are doing, where they're trying to subvert copyright protection by just claiming it as IP, which it's a real dick move. Like they have done so much bad stuff, but at least they're not completely 100% litigious like Ferrari is. I mean, let's go a little bit into their history. This one where they tried to sue somebody for modifying their Ferrari, go suck a dick. Fuck you. This one, I kind of get it. They were using the branding. Once again, that's the same kind of issue, but no. I, th I think that really the only problem was here is the fact that they had a Ferrari badge in their picture, which is really on the edge of what's acceptable, to be honest. This one, where he modified the logo, I mean, it's very clear what's happening there. It's not hurting your brand. You know what it's hurting? Your small little egos. Oh no, a girl might see my winky and realize how small it is. God, I hate them so infuriatingly much. Oh yeah, like anti-consumer stuff like, go oh. <laughs> suing people for making kit cars. That's a dick move. I mean, especially if they're not using your badging and everything. Like, let, let me show you this little quick one. 3D printed Lamborghini. Yeah, this thing. Literally printed in like small little blocks and put together. Lamborghini themselves are like, hey, hell yeah. <laughs> this looks like fun. Go enjoy yourself. Uh, and we will kind of support you from the back end. Ferrari, on the other hand, would have a goddamn aneurysm thinking, no, we're the most important people in the world. Nobody can do anything that it really makes us look good in any way or it builds any sort of fandom. Ferrari, you suck at F1. Go fuck yourself. So this brings me to my mod. 
It is very close, but not exact. And there's a lot of things here that are not real. The power numbers are not real. The weight numbers are not real. The handling is based upon just kind of, hey, how do I make a car handle good? And collision mesh and whatnot isn't great. It's just, they hate fandom. And they're pretty much on the same sort of level there as Nintendo of being litigious. Oh my God, this car sucks. You know what? Actually, the handling is very much like Ferrari themselves. It's shit. Go suck a dick. Oh God, I hate Ferrari. So yeah, if you've ever seen a Ferrari show up on the repository on a forum, like not the repository, but the forum itself, they're getting DMCA'd as well. Apparently there was a Ferrari Enzo and they were like, hey, this one is still up though. And then nope, it's taken down literally right now, like seconds after he read it. So I know that the BMG devs are doing this and I get that they don't want to like, I, I don't think that Ferrari has some sort of like backdoor access where they're going, yeah, okay, that's us. Kind of like what YouTube does with their DMCA claims. I'm pretty sure Ferrari's not doing that. They just went to BMG, hey, BMG, remove all your Ferrari mods. And then the BMG devs are like, we've made millions of dollars, but Ferrari will spend hundreds of millions of dollars just trying to fuck us. Whether anything is actually legitimately able to claim any sort of fair use or not, it just completely ignored. Ferrari is a c company. That's it. Have a good one. Uh, thanks to my channel members. I can scroll up now. Especially you, the rogue tick, the crayon priest. At least you won't try to fuck me. I mean, I don't know.